I want to show you the interface here for just a moment on a couple of things in central administration just so that you are aware of how things are uh, put here uh, within SharePoint. Uh, first of all, if you come up here and we look at manage web applications, we're going to see that if we highlight a particular web application like the Record Center here and click on service connections, it's going to tell us which services this web application is associated with. Now, this is important because your associations between the hub and the consuming site collections is at the web application layer. What that means, it's at the root URL layer. So I cannot have HTTP, whack, whack, um, uh, sales customer number one, pointing to MMS1 and sales whack customer number two pointing to MMS number two. You cannot do that. That's not possible to do in this version of SharePoint. Everything, everything under sales has to consume from the same hub. Okay? That's both a limitation and a feature. It's a sword that cuts both ways. So, how would we get a, get a content type syndicated to both places at the same time? Well, in, our, in, in the environment that, I, that I'm using to do the demonstrations, what you're going to find is that we have the MMS hub, and that MMS hub syndicates to all of the others, to projects, to records, to team, et cetera, et cetera. So all we need to do to make that happen is to go into the hub and create a content type. But what you're going to find when we come into the hub and we look at the content type gallery, the only way that you're going to know that this is the hub is to either know that it's the hub, I mean, you just have to know it, or you're going to have to notice a little itty-bitty link embedded within the content types themselves. 